<laughs> going 19 innings north of the border. You're not kidding. They certainly earned it. That's a comfort, too. And it only took six hours and 13 minutes. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson! My goodness! Up! On it! And he held it! Amazing! And two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, oh, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. It's time for baseball on MLB Network from our nation's capital. Welcome inside Nationals Park. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Tanner Roark is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Nationals. What's your take on him, H? Well, the last three outings are any indication. He's throwing the ball really well. If you look at the ERA, it's under two. So he's very stingy, not giving up much right now. He's in a nice groove. Now batting, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Should be in for a warm one this afternoon. 91 degrees, our first pitch temperature. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 2 2. Another one sent foul. The 2 2 one more time. Swing on and miss. Really fooled him that time for the first out. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here's the third baseman David Wright. His career line against Roark up until this point. A 3 for 12 line. He also has one home run. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Batting third. The left fielder number 50. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Nope. And we'll have ball the first four. base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle Center a slugger fielder. like that to the end Michael and end up walking Conforto. him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Full count, here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rendon has room in foul territory. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets leave one, and now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. Seth Lugo is on the mound for game two. Harold, any thoughts? 
Well, Matt, he has really struggled his last three outings. The ERA totally inflated. It's over five. When you look at that, that's too many runs he's given up. And he's just not giving his team a chance to even get out the gate and win the game. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he lays off again, ball three. These Mets herald as they take the field here today. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matt, this is a really good club. I mean, here we are, the second half of the year. They're already leading the division, but now they're starting to open up a lead. It looks like it's almost like the quarter horse that you know is going to win this race, and he starts to pour it on to embarrass everybody. They're smelling the finish line right now. Time now from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats starting lineup. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, Matt, this club is not real creative. I mean, they're near the top of the league and grounded in a double play, so they don't start runners an awful lot. They're not letting guys steal bases, and as a result, the double play is starting to hurt them. They're going to have to figure out how to get out of that trend if they want to win games. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Eaton. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was an hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. In now, Daniel Murphy. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Well, Matt, this is a situation in the last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, you capitalize on it. You grow from your mistakes and be able to come back and deliver in this one here. In time to first, and there are two away. Here's Bryce Harper now, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Two out here and a runner at second. front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. Well, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike change up. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here's Neil Walker, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Go back to New York, man. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. HR, these Nationals, as they take the field here today, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, last game, they just didn't play well. They gave up a lot of runs, really sloppy. So when you play that sloppy, you're not going to win games. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. All right, here's how the Nats line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Bryce Harper, you know, when he first broke into the league when he was 19, 20 years old, he was running around like a crazy man all over the place, like a little jackrabbit. Out of control. He's calmed it down now, and he's really become a nice outfielder. So stepping in, Jay Bruce, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Here it comes on one and one. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Now, Matt, I'm telling you, I watch Ricky Holiday call games. I start thinking about hockey. Top shelf. That's him. He's going to call everything up in the zone. Top shelf, Ricky. And a fastball just a bit high. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Worth is under it. 
makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. No score here as we play inning number two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Eaton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In now is Anthony Rendon. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often in this club. Here's Adam Lind, and there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Here's the 0 and 2. And this is going to be a foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled him off instead of putting it in the seats. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Well, you can't be too upset giving up a base hit on that one. I mean, the ball was out of the zone. You had two strikes on the hitter. He chased a bad ball. He just got a base hit. Sometimes that happens. At the plate, Jason Worth. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Cespedes is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Cutting eight. Digging in the switch hitter, Matt Wieters. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He's set, and the 1-2 pitch. On the ground to the right side. Taken by Walker. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing nothing. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Nationals Park in D.C. Set to go now in the third. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Soft liner to the right side, but an easy play there at first as that becomes the first out of the inning. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Coming to the plate now, Seth Lugo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the one and one delivery. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. And a full count now, three and two. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes, so it's two up, two down to begin the third. Ready for another chance? Jose Reyes, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. So they'll get a two out base runner here as we check out the list of the best hitting teams roughly midway through the season. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot. David Wright. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Throw over to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And again a throw. And he'll dive back in safely. Third inning, no score to this point. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. That gets down, and the inning continues. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise through this thing, and now look at him. Boom, boom, base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Into the box, Yoannis Cespedes. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two seam fastball. The one and two pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left. There to play it is worth, and he makes the play to retire the side. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Digging in, Tanner Roar, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One and one, here it is. For the shortstop, Reyes. And he set down one away. So one away in the inning now. And before we get too much further, let's take a look at where the Mets find themselves in the race for the National League East. Digging in for his second at bat, Trey Turner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a changeup runs inside on him as he's got to back out of the way of that one. Hey, that's a good pitch right there. But, you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet. So he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Oh, and he misses it. He's dead. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in now. You've got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. Riding in once again, Adam Eaton, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Rivera is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Daniel Murphy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. That's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two strike fastball on the corner of the plate. He's able to foul it off. Nice job. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Here's a pop up now behind the plate but room for Darno and he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side one left for Washington will head to the fourth still scoreless with Harold Reynolds Dan Plezak Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Three and one, here it is. And he lays ball off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, enough. so maybe this Second walk will baseline. jump start their offense a little bit. Neil Walker. Digging in now, Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. 
A fastball that just misses inside. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. No runs, two hits, one error in the game for the Mets thus far. And he comes back with a fastball one and two now. One and two here it comes. And the fastball easy to lay off that time two and two. Hey two walks in this inning already so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Stepping in now Travis Darno. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Just a great at bat there. That one out double now gets a run across and now they've got baseman. runners at second and third and are one solid swing away from making this a real big inning. Standing in now, T.J. Rivera, and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third, and it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a two-nothing game. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy at third a chance. So striding in Seth Lugo and a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Here it comes on one and one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Well I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that this game could get away from him. Two balls and a strike here it is. And it misses three and one now. There's two outs in the inning, three one count to the pitcher. You've got to make him swing the bat right here. You just have to. He's set. Here's the three one. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Mets out in front, two to nothing. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The set and the 1 1 pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A breaking ball swung on and missed and he set down for the second time this afternoon. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. In now Anthony Rendon. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Hit out towards second. And he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting. First baseman. Here's Adam Lind. One for one after a single this first time up. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Fastball close but he didn't get it two and one. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes going back 
He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail it here, two to nothing. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's one for two in the ball game. Set to deliver on two and one. Line hard, deep in the left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. Left fielder really never had a the chance at that one at five. all. It was Maybe over his head right. before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Into the box, David Wright. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Now a pickoff play at second, and he's back standing. Two runs, four hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. And he'll turn and throw back the second again, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Misses. Ball two. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Runner at second here with one man out. Spin and a throw back to second. And the runner will get back standing. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Reyes is on his way home. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. Well, that now single buddy. moves the runner to third That's base. Now they're first and third. Mike they haven't done much this Tom game. Porto. This is a big opportunity for them to capitalize. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Swing and a line drive. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Neil Walker will be next. Working for the punch out and the offering. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Ready with the payoff pitch. He'll try it again from first. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Harper has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The relay, and they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 3-0 game. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Mets lead it 3-0. Settling in now, Jason Worth. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Another 2 2 offering. Sent on the ground out to second. 
And Walker's throw is in time for route number one. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Stepping into the box, Matt Wieters comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Wieters awaits the 1-1. One -one. And a curveball that gets a swing and a miss and makes him look way behind. A ball and two strikes, here it is. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Ready on two balls and two strikes, here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early, timing not quite there, had a fastball to pitch before, he just got out in front of that breaking ball. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Ryan Zimmerman will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Ryan Zimmerman. Ball three. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a... There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Bruce ranging back. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Nationals gone in order. Still down 3 nothing. Vance Worley takes over to start the sixth inning Washington. on the mound. Number 50, Vance Worley. Here's Neil Walker. Head-to-head -head history with Vance Worley. 3 for 10. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And now pitch on the way. Hit down the line at first. And this gets by Lynn down the line. It's a fair ball. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit call. This is a good jump start for him. In now, Jay Bruce. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called the strike three and one now. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe he's just measuring him up. I wouldn't come back with that again. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but Object especially troublesome when you Catcher. give up a single right Travis. before that to start Darn the inning. Man. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. One and one, here it comes. Slider stayed too low, ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Back in standing. And the pitch on two and one. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Out of play. The 2 2 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. Played on the backhand. The second for one. On to Lind, and it's a double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs.
Into the box, T.J. Rivera. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game if this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. And there's ball two now. Curveball, and he thought it was strike two. Instead, it goes to three and one. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. Well, that's not right to sign. You fall behind 3 1 to this guy. You're probably going to give up a base hit when you throw him a fastball. Adam Eaton. In now is Adam Eaton. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Nobody out, runner on first. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Mm, hung that one out there a bit but it's a cold strike two and two. Well with the leadoff man getting on right there Matt they are falling so far behind they have to capitalize they have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Reyes on to first but not in time as he beats it out. Now batting second baseman Daniel. Here's Daniel Murphy now. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. The 1 1 on its way to Murphy. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's 1 and 2. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. High in the air out to center field. Conforto moves over. And that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Right fielder number. Digging in once again. Bryce Harper. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. A runner on first with two away. Ground ball right side. Gloved by Walker. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Nationals leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here at Nationals Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready for another shot now. Seth Lugo, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Here it comes on one and one. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. A fastball right over the outside corner. Pitch on the way. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Mine to the right side. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time. One away. Digging in and looking for more. Jose Reyes. Head to head history with Vance Worley three for ten. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch to short. Turner has it. Throw on to first, two gone. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it. Ready to deal here's the one one takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's done a nice job of getting those two quick outs before the two hitters come to the plate right now because he knows what's sitting down there down the order. So you stay aggressive right, against those little guys try to get them out the way. And he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. Set to deal on two and two. On the ground to the left side. Rendon is there. Throw in time and the side is retired. Thank Mets go down know. one, two, it's three. The they lead it three to nothing. Yeah. In now is Anthony Rendon. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Well, that's what you want right there. Late in the game, leadoff single. Now they still got some work to do. You got the tying run on the on deck circle, but they've got a shot now. Ready once again, Adam Lind, a hit in two tries so far. Here's the 1 1. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Checked his swing there and pops this one up. Rivera is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jason Worth. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. On Worth, among the best in baseball, a couple of years ago working the count, he's got it to 3 and 1 now. Well, tying run on deck, he should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. And another foul ball. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a liner. And he has to dive at him with the baseball, but he makes the play to end the inning. Nothing doing for Washington. They trail it here three to nothing. Here's you in a Cespedes. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the one and one delivery. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Hit to short. Turner loves it. Throw on to first in time. So the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. At the plate, Michael Conforto. He hit a sack fly earlier. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded by Rendon. Throw on to first will get him score at 5 3 on the put out though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Second Nevertheless baseman. there are Neil two away now. Walker. Riding in once again Neil Walker. He enters this at bat one for two with a walk. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. 
Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The next 3 2. This is sent on the ground now for the first baseman, Lind. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Addison Reed is on the pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Addison Reed. Ready for another chance? Matt Wieters. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. 1 and 2, here it comes. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain 1 and 2. Here he comes again, 1 2. Hit toward the right side. But no problem at first, and that's the first out. Jose Lobaton will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Jose Lobaton. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Matt, that's his third hit of the night, his third single. I'm sure he'd like to have a double or something mixed in, but for now, he'll take the three for four. In now is Adam Eaton. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Here's the one and two. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Oh, that was a good job of spoiling the good pitch right there. Two strike breaking ball right on the corner, and he's able to foul it off. Grounded to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. It's the Mets three, and the Nationals nothing. Sammy Solis enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. At the plate, Jay Bruce. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he gets ahead with a sinker on the outside. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. One out, nobody on. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. And now pitch on the way. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Weeders has it. And he makes the throw to first. Darno is retired, two down now. Off deck for the Mets. Digging in to try it again. T.J. Rivera. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Harper is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Jerry's familiar. 
takes the now ball now in inning number York nine, Mets. looking to close number the door. Jayaris Familia. Here's Daniel Murphy now. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. And this is fouled back and out of play. One and two, here it comes. Softly hit here to the left side. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. Matt, I tell you, that was a tough pitch he hit right there. He just reached out and drove it the opposite field. He didn't try to do anything else with it. He doesn't get a hit there. Digging in, Bryce Harper, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Here's Adam Lind, and his okay, guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Not too often Jerry's Familia finds himself in a tough spot like this, but I wouldn't bet against him. He has the kind of stuff that he can get out of this mess. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box now, Jason Worth, as he loops under the ball and pops it up. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Three nothing the final score in this one today. Seth Lugo earns the win his second. Jerry Spamilia earns the save out of the bullpen his 22nd. So that'll just about do it for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. This is Matt Vasquez and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. So long everybody. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs, six hits, one error. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game.